Hey guys, this is MSB Designs, and yes, I am back. I haven't made a video in a long time. Um, I just thought I'd make a video today on how to do this. Uh, so a quick tutorial. This is actually really easy. Um, it gives a nice effect. Um, I usually use it. I actually just made this a few days ago, and I thought I'd show you guys how, since it's really easy and it can also give a really nice effect on some um, images, such as um, models. And yeah, so what you're gonna need is a picture of a model or any anything really, but it works best with people. And so I took this um, Alicia Cuthbert. She's a very good-looking person. And yeah, so what you wanna do first is unlock your layer, and then go to Image Adjustments, and then Desaturate. So this will make it black and white, which is what we want. So don't worry. And then I'm just going to adjust the contrast a bit to make it look better. Just about like this. Maybe the brightness. There you go. Uh, merge down just so it doesn't interfere with any other layers. And then what you want to do is just create a new layer and take your brush. And depending on the size of your image, you're going to need a pretty big brush. I'm going to use probably about, um, that's way too big, probably about 911. And what you want to do for this, um, I usually take, um, oh, just a second, I usually just take a uh, really light blue, these are kind of like lights, so it'll be bright of course, really light blue first, and then I just put it right about there. And for some reason it's not working, it's super laggy. Click. Yeah, it's not working. Um, yeah, my computer's not the fastest thing on earth, so that's probably why it's really laggy right now. Whoa. I've never seen it this bad before, to be honest with you. And why isn't it this working? Okay, new layer. Oh, there you go, I know why. Because I had. Uh, I have. Uh, bulky brush type thing. Anyway, so now it should work fine. There you go. So the next thing you want to do once you have your um, your big blue spot, you want to change the layer to screen, just like that. Oh, and I changed the wrong layer to screen. Oh my god. Yeah, so you want to make sure you change the right layer to screen, obviously, and then you'll have it'll really light it up. I'm just going to put it right above here. It works nice if you have a white background. Just kind of see like the lights coming out of nowhere. It's not just like randomly in the middle. I'm going to put my right in the corner right up here. So then kind of gets a nice effect on the face. And then what you want to do is create another new layer and repeat this step um, with different colors. I'm going to take a nice pink. Not too hot pink, but... Just like that, that'd be nice. And I'm gonna put it right in the middle once again and change it to screen. And now I have this. And I just wanna move it. Oh my god. What is it doing? There. So now I'm just gonna make this one much larger so that it covers a big area. And just like that. I'm pretty much recreating exactly what I have for my desktop because I think it looks nice. That's why I have it on my desktop background. And once again, you create another new layer and just. I'm going to take a yellow so it seems like there's sun coming out from the background. And I'm going to take my brush tool and do the same once again. There you go. So now. I'm just going to put it here so it seems like the sun's coming out from the back and casting some sun rays on her. Yeah. Next thing you want to do is create another new layer once you have all of this done. You can pick whatever color you want. Um, I stick with these three colors because it usually looks nice. But yeah, you want to create a new layer under all your lights right here and over top your actual image. And then you want to take your bucket tool and just fill it in with blacks. So then you're gonna have something like this. 
Next thing you want to do is double click on it, then you want to go to pattern overlay. And I really can't remember if this pattern comes with Photoshop, but this is not a crucial step for this um, tutorial. This is just sort of like a little add to it. And once you have this pattern, you just go on blend mode and put it to screen like that. And then you'll have this, and then you want to switch that whole layer to screen. Oh, never mind. I want to put it to darken. No, it's not it either. I'm going to put it to screen, and then I'm going to switch the pattern overlay to darken. I think that's bad. Yeah, there you go. So then you'll see um, I only have the stripes in the background, not on here. I don't know how it does this, but it's just a cool little blending um, blend mode. And yeah, next thing you want to do is create another new layer. Take your brush tool once again. I'm going to scale down to about 30, just like that. Maybe a bit bigger. There you go. And I'm going to take a nice um, white. A nice white that's kind of weird. Anyways. Then once you have your brush, you just click on this little bucket here. I just might not do this for you guys, but you just want to go on your brush. Right here, your brush tab. And I don't know what this is for. Why does it always do this when I'm doing a tutorial? Let me redo that. There you go. So then you'll have this little panel. Go to your shape dynamics and go to size to and drag it up. All the way to 100%. Scattering, you want to put it to about 500 or something like that. And count jitter, I just put it to 100%. And you want to go to transfer and put the opacity jitter to 100% and flow jitter to about halfway. Well, then, once you have your new layer like this, you can just drag it here and I'll give it sort of like a nice sparkly look. It's particles. I'm just going to zoom in here, so you can go like, like that. This is not crucial either, it's just little details. And right here, as you can see, there's stripes on the face, which I don't like. So I'm going to take my eraser and just erase them away. Um, this layer, the black one, it's that easy. You just erase and erase what you don't want, just like that. And she also has some right here on the hip. There, so back to the brush on this layer. I can just drag it right here. Gives it a nice uh, little effect. This doesn't always look good, but it can look good. Like right now, you just need to find the right area, and yeah, it's not always that easy. But this is, um, I have no clue what episode this is for Tutorial Tuesday. I'm going to have to check that up later. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, sorry for the lack of uploads. I just haven't really had anything um, to show you guys how to make or any speed arts or anything. But I'm almost at 200 once again. I'm at 198. And I haven't gotten a sub in probably about a week and a half. So I'm just kind of wondering what's going on. But yeah. Once I hit 200, I will release a background with um, a speed art for every background that I'll make. So I'll have probably about five speed arts. I won't upload them every day because I did that with my tutorials, and I have one video that has 200, almost 250 views. The other ones have um, about 70, not even. So I'll probably release them every Sunday, and yeah something like that i'll plan something else for you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon